Dapper is always, of course, uh, sporting the bow tie. I got to ask, is, is that something you, you, you kind of rock in, in every day, or do, you, or do you just save that for fight week? Oh, give me a couple more fights and we get some money, and then I can buy another suit. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Very nice. Well, let's talk about it. You came in, made a, a you know a great impression this past November in your UFC debut. Then you had to wait until now because of the canceled bout. Was that difficult? Because it seemed like you had a lot of momentum coming out of that debut. It's always difficult when when things don't go to plan, but it's a part of the game. You know, it's a part of the game, and I, it's not like I expected it. But I mean, I knew they would give me something. I was hoping it's something a bit more sooner. But you know. Everything happens for a reason, you know, I try and stay positive, so that's a big part of being an MMA fighter, you've got to stay positive, because there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of downs, so I just, yeah, stay positive and, yeah, but now I'm here, I'm now fighting and it's good, it's, you know, pretty much, I wouldn't say home, but pretty close to it. Moving down to featherweight, uh, you made your short notice debut at lightweight. Did you give any consideration at all to like, hey, I feel pretty good here at lightweight, maybe this is where I belong, or did you, did you know it had to be 145? Um, it definitely, yeah, I felt fine. You know, I still felt really strong in that division. I fought in up to middleweight, so I've, yeah, I used to be 97 kg, so you know, that's 210 pounds. So you could imagine the who I used to fight, I fought from middleweight. So the I still feel strong, but I, I make weight at 66 pretty easily. Featherweight to my definitely my division. And like I said, I, I've mentioned bantamweight, but right now I think the safe the safe route would be uh, 145. So I won't uh, I won't. Uh, Put my body through death just to make it band and weight. So I'll stick to this one. I'll be definitely strong in featherweight. No doubt. Now you talked about the positives of fighting close to home. I wondered though, uh, you know, is it a good thing for you, or did you kind of want to get out a little bit, you know, see the world a little bit, maybe get your name out there to, to different markets, different audiences? Yeah, definitely. That's uh, definitely something I want to do as well. I want to fight, you know, locally, and I want to fight as many times out there as well. Get the name, you know, obviously I'm looking at the big picture and it's going to help really get the eyes on me and, and more people, you know, I've done a few you know, interviews and that and I'm, yeah, I'm just really trying to branch out at the moment. Let's talk about the matchup with Hirota, a guy that was not necessarily the best career record but certainly a veteran and he's on a nice little run. What do you think about how you guys match up and what he offers? I think I match up really well with him. We've got a similar sort of style, I, I think the sort of how I, I used to sort of fight, so I sort of know his game. And the way he fights, I really don't think that that will work for me. He's you know, a pressure fighter. It works with other guys, but that, so am I. So I really think that's not going to, I think I'm going to be too strong and a bit too technical for him. But, I mean, he's obviously a veteran. He's been around the sport. He's got a lot of experience, so he's seen and done it all. But I just feel like I'm on another level, and I've got, really got something to prove, and I'm looking you know, at the big picture. But first, I'll take him out, and then uh, we'll see what's next. Still a name a lot of people might not know, but I mean, 11 fight win streak, 10 finishes, a lot to offer. I mean, do you feel like maybe this is the moment you can kind of announce to the world and maybe they'll, they'll pay attention to what you have to offer? Yeah, definitely, definitely. The record's uh, been you know, a big, big part of it, how I got to the UFC, but performances is everything. So I'm going to go out there, set a statement, and I'm going to you know, capitalize on the moment as well and, and really get the crowd on me.